नेक्स्ट वर्ड One can attain the path of liberation from material bondage only by rendering service to highly advanced spiritual personalities. These personalities are impersonalists and devotees. Whether one wants to merge into the Lord's existence or wants to associate with the personality of Godhead, one should render service to the Mahatmas. For those who are not interested in such activities, who associate with people fond of women and sex, the path to hell is wide open. The Mahatmas are equipoised. They do not see any difference between one living entity and another. They are very peaceful and are fully engaged in devotional service. They are devoid of anger and they work for the benefit of everyone. They do not behave in any abominable way. Such people are known as Mahatmas. <laughs> So, Mr. Justice Gandhi, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the instruction of Vishab Day uh, is very important. Vishabdev was the father of Maharaj Bharat, who under whose name this planet is called Bharatvas. So before retirement, Vishabdev instructed his one hundred sons about the aim of life. This is the duty of the father to instruct the sons about the aim of life. So this is basic civilization. Uh, so he says, my dear boys, don't spoil your life by uh, living like hogs. This very word has been used. Nāyāna deha deho bhājāna niloke kastāna kāmān arahate bīrbhujāna. Bīrbhujāna. Bīrbhujāna means there are hogs who are very much enthusiastic to eat stew. So why this particular animal has been named? Because we, we can find, especially in Indian villages, the hog, day and night, they are working very hard to find out where there is food. And as soon as he eats food, the hog very easily become fat and strong. Therefore a class of men, they like to eat the place of hog because it becomes easily fat. And the hog's business is, as soon as he gets little strain, the next business is sex without any discrimination. The hog has no discrimination who is sister, who is mother, who is daughter. Then therefore this particular animal has been named and Rishabhdev warns his sons that don't leave the life of hogs. 
live like human being. That is what. And for that purpose, you require to execute tapasya. Tapasya brahmacadjena samena damena ba. These are the injection of the shastras. Human life is meant for tapasya, not to imitate the hogs and dogs. This is not human life. Uh, this is Vedic culture. The Krishna consciousness movement is trying to give this Vedic culture all over the world. But they are after hogs and dogs. What can be done? This is a very difficult job. Uh, but still, we have to go. Because we have placed ourselves to become servant of Krishna. Uh, never mind. We have to face so many dangerous positions. Still, we have to do this thankless task. My dear brothers, do not be hogs and dogs. Be a saintly person. This is our mission. That is India's culture. Uh, Bhagavad Gita, the same thing says. Manasalam sahasya sukasti jadati siddha. <coughs> Siddhi. Siddhi means perfection. Uh. <coughs> Nobody is interested how to make this life perfect. Everyone is being carried away by the waves of material nature. Uh. This is not life. <coughs> Sīla Vakthamiya Thāku, a Bengali Vaśna poet, he has written one song, Kano māyāra vaśe jāccha vaśe kāccha abhudu bhāy. Jīv Krishna dāsa, he vishyās kalletā dukhanāya. Mayarva say, there is the laws of nature. We are under the grief of laws of nature. You cannot violate prakite kriyamālāni gunai karamāni sarvas. Oh. If you have touched fire, it doesn't matter whether you are a elderly person or a child, innocent, or knowingly or unknowingly, the fire must burn. There is no excuse. Similarly, we are contaminating different types of modes of nature. There are three modes of material nature, satagon, radagon, and tamagon. Now mix it up, three into three equal to nine, Nine into nine, it becomes eighty-one. Again, eighty-one terrible increases. Those who are expert in mixing color, they know how to make different colors by mixing the original three colors, blue, yellow, and red. Similarly, we are in this material world under the clutches of the modes of material nature, and according to different circumstances we are mixing with different modes of nature. Karanam guna saṅgayas sadasa joni joni su. Because we are mixing with different types of material nature, next life we are preparing. Uh, Tatha dehantara prapti. We have to accept another body. Karanam guna sangasya. This is our position. Don't be very happy that today I am such and such big person. It will continue. 
नो सैरिट विल नॉट कंटिन्यू तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति यू हैव टू चेंज योर बॉडी सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज ह्यूमन लाइफ नॉट टू एंजॉय सेंसेस बाय इमिटेटिंग द हॉग्स एंड डॉग दिस इज नॉट ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन वी हैव टू लर्न from the shastras how our life is being transformed from one form to another and there are 8 million 400000 different species of life once this human form of life missed and if you are put into these waves of birth and death then the opportunity finished uh, we must all as be Uh, a lot uh, that uh, we have got this responsibility. The Rishabh Dev says that tapo dibbang putra kaji na suddhi to satya. Satya means existence. Your existence is eternal. That is the first information in the Bhagavad Gita. Na na te hanmani sri. न जाए तो ये नाम लिया थी वाह दिस इज दर्स्ट दे आर आर सो मेनी कॉमेंटेटर एंड इन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ भगवद गीता दैट दैट मिसिंग द फर्स्ट इन स्ट्रक्चर दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड दैट व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन माय नेक्स्ट लाइफ they are not interested nobody takes care they have concluded they have no life after death this body is finished everything is finished most irresponsible life this is not to be <coughs> carry on there is how they say that uh, uh, my dear sons don't leave this irresponsible life <coughs> like uh, animals hogs and dogs but take the responsibility of human life undergo austerities penances as they are recommended in this shastras and make your life it is individual if this moment cannot be taken massively every individual can practice that is indian culture ah uh, every indian was educated how to become a brahman for coming to this platform of austerity and following the examples of brahmana the kshatriya the vaishya and the shudra they also benefited so uh this is a very uh, elaborate scientific subject matter and we are trying to present all over the world why not our indian brothers take it very seriously why we should be carried away by the waves of material nature this is not very good idea tapo dibbang putra ke na putra ka जीन शुद्धि तो सत्या सत्ता में ही एग्जिस्ट एट प्रेजेंट मोमेंट इज लाइक आई एम कफिंग सो बिकॉज आई एम फॉर द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट आई एम डिजीज सो दिस इज दिस दिस सिम्टम ऑफ कफिंग सिमिलरली आई वाई आई एम डाइंग दिस शुड बी द क्वेश्चन कि आम ही कैन मरे जापेता पुत्र I hear from Bhagavad Gita that I am eternal. Na han na te han na maane sarire na jaaye te va mere te ba. Then why I am dying? This is intelligent. Why I am dying? This why? Ke na upani. But this is not being educated. We are carried away by the uh, temporary problems and. missing the chance of human life this is not very good and 
Vishabdev, especially in stars, that Mahasevadaram Mahur Vimukti. If you actually want liberation from this clutches of Maya, Vimukti. Vimukti. Vimukti means liberation. What is liberation? Ah, mukti hitya anathārūpam sarūpīna avasthiti. We are living in a different way. This is not mukti. This is condition. I am living as Indian condition. I am living as European condition. This is not mukti. You must live in your original form. Ah, that is called mukti. Mukti hitya anathārūpam. Now we are living anathārūpam. Somebody is living as Indian, somebody is living as European, somebody as cat, somebody as dog, somebody. This is anathārūpam. You must realize yourself. brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sūcati na kāda sama sarveśu bhūtesu mad bhakti ilavati so Dr. Jastis gave stress on bhakti. That is a very good idea. So simply by becoming bhakta, kibulaya, kichit kibulaya bhaktya vasudeva paraya. Kibulaya bhakta, simply if you take to the process of bhakti. That is recommended in the Bhagavad Gita also. Bhaktyamavijana. If you want to know God, if you want to know the relationship with God, if you know what is your business after understanding God, then bhakti, Krishna says. Uh, Krishna, although there are different ways of self realization, karma jnana yoga bhakti. These are the principles. But Krishna recommends that if you want to know me actually, then bhaktya. Uh, Krishna teaches Arjun Bhagavad Gita because Arjun was a devotee. Bhakto si me priyas. Because you are my dear friend and bhakta. The friend is. So bhakti mārga is not very difficult, very easy. Manmana bhava mad bhakta mad yāji māga namaskur. Any child can do it. Any child, if he sees the form of Lord Krishna in the temple, he remembers. And he continues to think of Krishna, manmana. Baba Mata Bhakta, and if you think of Krishna, always, automatically you become devotee. Man Mana Baba Mata Bhakta. And then Mata Jaji, little offering, Patram Pushpam Phalam Tuyam, Jomi Bhaktya Pradyachit. Where is the difficulty? Little flower, little fruit, little water. Krishna is not poor person, he wants something from him. But jo me bhaktya prajatsati, he wants to revive your original Krishna consciousness. Therefore he comes. Jada jada hi dharma saglani bhavati bhara. So in India we have got this opportunity. Why should we miss this opportunity? It is a suicidal policy. Don't do it. Take to it very serious. Thank you very much. If anyone has any questions, this is the time. The process of receiving knowledge is to place inquiry at the perfect person, the spiritual master. So if any of you have any questions, There'll be a microphone up front, and you can come up and place your questions to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you, 
that I am, God never says the stop sense. Otherwise, why there is Girasta Ashram? Ashram means the, uh, there is Krishna consciousness. As soon as we say here is an ashram, we understand that there is consciousness of Krishna. So Brahmacharya Ashram, Grihastha Ashram, Banaprastha Ashram, Sanyas Ashram, make it Ashram and follow the rules and regulation of Ashram, then it is all right. Otherwise, you are bound up by the laws of nature. Uh, as we heard in the beginning, one of um, the disciples said that a man goes in the local dream, stands there for two hours, reaches his uh, place of business, and works there from nine o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the evening, returns back, has his food, has sex and all that thing. I found many people, they work very hard, raise children very nicely, have sex, but need a good life. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Yes, if there is no wrong, it is all right. But this sort of life is not very uh, palatable. Because I find even the dogs, they are dogs. If you like that life, it is very good. That is up to you. But uh, I don't think this is a very nice way of life to work so hard, simply for bread. No, I agree there. Then I agree, I agree, then why do they agree? <laughs> That's all right. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, one more question. another question from a different man. Yes? Karma. Karma. Is the cause of, cause of the cycle of death and birth. Yes. The virtuous karma or the action liberates the man and joins to the Supreme. If it is so, that is called moksha. I mean, if it is so, what is the first cause that derives me from the Supreme or the action? Karanam kuna sangha, so we have already mentioned. Karanam, the first cause. Guna sanghas, as soon as you want to associate with the modes of material nature, then you are bound up immediately by the modes of material nature. Then your work begins. Karanam guna sanghas. That is natural. Uh, actually, every living entity is constitutionally the servant of Krishna. But when he wants to enjoy without Krishna, without becoming servant of Krishna, he wants to enjoy independently his material nature, then he has to associate with the most of material nature and he becomes bound up. Jagnyarthi karma natra lukoyam karnamo. So you have to know, study all this understanding, then you will understand what is what. That's all. No, when we are in the Krishna, ah, what is that? The supreme bliss. Ah, what is that? When we are with Krishna, we are enjoying the supreme bliss there. Yes. Sooner we come to this material world, we are in a miserable condition. Well, this is and natural. He left Sri Krishna and came to this world. What yeah. was the cause? There Con? was no action at all. There is cause. Karanam guna sangas. That is, he is, there is master and servant. The servant sometimes desires, why not become a master? That is natural. Uh, so... When I was with Krishna, I myself was the past as a master research. You are master? And I was really you are you are kicked by the material nature and you are master. Why you are so falsely proud? You are not master. You say that the moksha is I one. Moksha means that when you are eternal servant of Krishna, when you desire to become master of the world, 
then you become bounder. And when you give up this artificial desire, that is moksha. Thank you. Would you agree that God is just a concept? If you don't, please give your logical reason for that. What is that? <laughs> Would you agree that God is just a concept? If you do not agree to that, Please explain it logically. Why shall I agree? God is only concept. Because I want it logically. No, you do not know logic. <laughs> you have to learn logic. But I still would like you to explain it logically. Yeah, but you have to learn how to know it. There is, there is master. There is master. Just like you cannot prove logically that without father there is a child. This is no logic. This is no logic. There cannot be any child without father. Uh, therefore, if anyone thinks that without father there can be child, he is animal. He is, there is no logic. But still the question is unanswered. No. Agree that God is just a no. There must be father. That's like you see every, everything is growing out of this heart. Sarvajuni si kauntriya sambhavanti mūrtayaja. So there is mother, there is child. Where is the father? This is logic. Unless you come to this point, that there is mother, there is child, there must be father. Then there is no logic. Without father there cannot be child. Simply mother cannot give birth to a child. This is logic. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Now chant Hare Krishna.